One second, people. Let's see if I can find. Where's the check? There's the check. Right. Uh, hello, hello. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we start this one way, we start this one way only. Uh, hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire live stream with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, and all of that jazz. Do I need a giant? Sure. I need a giant. Let's do a giant. I don't think I've done a giant yet. <laughs> it never seems to be on. Um, and I never seem to be organized enough to do a giant. So let's do a giant. Uh, let's also put the old phone down here so we can see the chat. Um, uh, let's just wait. Oh, wow. We've got people around us hitting us, I'm sure. Um, hello to uh, Prasanna, Rua, Redren, uh, Daniel Proctor, Osman, Spanish87. Hello, hello. Uh, I've only got, wait a second. Five minutes for a giant, I think it's fine. I'm not going to be able to switch into the farms. Uh, uh, live stream. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Call me extreme. Okay, extreme, that's no problem at all, but I will forget that very, very quickly. <laughs> Literally, it's already gone out of my head. Sorry, uh, I'm not very good at remembering things. I'm awful at names. Very, very bad at names. Um, we're not going to click that because that'll screw up the game. Claim this. Oh, all of this stuff up here we haven't done. We haven't looked at. We, we, we will get to. We will get to. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me, people. Um, it is uh, Tuesday morning for me, and this is the, I think this is the third or fourth week in a row we're doing it on these days. This just seems to be the nice day for me, because it's kind of start of the week. We can discuss, you know, things going forward. People can talk about how they did in KE, and then you can kind of plan for the KE coming. Um, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, Smiley, hey, Smiley, how you doing? Um, long time no see. Um, so, yeah, this is what I think is a good day to uh, kind of check in and see where we're at. I've done, yeah, please ask away, ask questions. I've done zero on these accounts for five days. Um, I'm busy kind of trying to do some other stuff at the moment. That's fine. So, but that's okay because remember, as I've always said, you know, these accounts are about learning things. So, you know, I don't need to rush. If somebody's following these videos, then they can be rushing all they want. Uh, but I'm not trying to rush because I just want to learn some stuff. Let's just get the free tickets here. Whoops, whoops like I saw. Uh, nobody special. Cool. Fine, fine, fine. Um, that's all right. That's done there. Uh, we've got 38 males. Oh, boy. Oh, we got our asses beat, I think, over the weekend, which is annoying because I believe I've said we're an academy of one of the top alliances now. Um, it's been three weeks and I'm not getting any orange heroes from Skull or free tickets. Yep. If you saw the video I did, uh, medical tins are right? If you saw the video I did on, I think it was released on Friday, so maybe four days ago now, you saw that I rolled the tickets through every single one of these farms, and we ended up getting two out of something like 200 tickets rolled. It is very, very pure luck, um, and that's just it. It's just luck, man. There's uh, there's no way to uh, fix it otherwise, um, and there's no tricks. <sighs> Have you done a video on restore resources, resource stations, new state, new quest for me? Uh, resource stations as in like the plots. Like, people call it like these things. Uh, these farms things. Do you, do you mean these? Um, let me know and I can answer if I've, I haven't done a video on those. I, well, I think I did a video on those. Pretty much I've done a video on every single possible thing in this game apart from 
up until season three of Reign of Chaos, and then I always stop and start again. <laughs> uh, there's a savage giant. Let's do that. Let's join in quickly. Um, let's just click and join in. Three minutes. Can we get there? I don't know if we have any legions for crying out loud. Everybody's dead. Uh, there we go. That's okay. Taz will help. Um, have you done a video on... Yes. No. <laughs> hey, Void. How you doing? Um, Reachless stations. I don't think I've done a video on these, or maybe I have, but I mean, there's not really much to talk about. If you're going to be asking about how you get level 10 resource stations, um, I, we don't talk about that on this channel. Uh, it's a long-standing policy not to talk about how you get level 10 resource stations. Um, you can check out Lord of Pontel has a video on it. I think it's a scam and I think it's a glitch and I think they should remove it from the game the way you get level 10 because basically you go to another, you go to one of the earlier alliances, you join that alliance, then you teleport your farm back or something like that and that gives you, because it used to be an alliance technology you could research in order to achieve level 10 resource plot. Uh, they took that away over a year ago. Um, so the only way to go is to is to start a new account, go join an alliance in an early state, then teleport that account out or something like that. I can't really remember. I've never done it. I don't see the need. I have literally have been a farmer my whole entire life. <laughs> I mean, my life in the game, and I've never, you know, even with a 24-hour thing, I'm not, I'm not taking, a, I'm not uh, consuming all of the all of the stuff in a level seven or eight plot within less than 12 or something hours. So you know. If you're going to be gathering for, you know, three days at a time, then yeah, maybe. But if you're going to be gathering for three days at a time, I think you should use your time a little bit better. So I don't see the point for resource stations above level seven or eight. If you do want to know exactly how to get them, Lord Pond, uh, Lord of Pondale has a video on them. Um, wrong ones, it's something you build. Alliance resource stations. Alliance leaders build them. It's kind of like, oh, well then, no, that sounds like a new thing. That's definitely a new thing. Uh, yeah, then I think you guys are talking about there is something new in the game called Dragon Relic, which is a kind of update that has come in somewhere around the 300s. I have not seen that yet. I'm hoping to see if it eventually pops up into this state, which is state 431. Um, however, so far, everything is running in the normal way. So there's no zone technology, cool. Um, but yeah. That's definitely not something that is, as far as I can tell, has filtered down. Now, that said, I'm going to be reactivating one of my old accounts um, relatively soon. One of the higher level accounts I have kind of sitting dormant uh, somewhere. And I will double check um, if it's uh, something that happens. Um, and I will see if I can uh, make some videos about it. But so far, I mean, in 431 here... I've not seen anything about resource stations or Dragon Relic or anything like this. I think this is the fourth or fifth week we have it. Um, I don't see anything in here that's different. All of this looks the same. Uh, you can always, um, if you've got, yeah, it's Dragon Relic, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I've not seen how, I, I mean, I assume this is one of the reasons I started this as well, is because I had started to hear about Dragon Relic, so I'm like, okay, where's this Dragon Relic? But nothing's happened yet here. And, I mean, we just started Clash of Province. That was, like, this week. So I'm assuming Dragon Relic is after Clash of Province. Or this state is not getting it. But if you're in state 4, 6, it starts on day 3. I'm definitely in day 3. And if you're only in 4, 6, 7, then why haven't I seen it? Benefits. There's no Dragon Relic up here, is there? No. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I'll have to start up a new one and try to chuck it somewhere. Interesting. Um, hmm. I'll have to have a look around for that and see. Yeah. Uh, it's confusing. <laughs> this game is odd because, you know, there's things that they, they don't update across the, across the entire thing. I remember when the massive update came in last year, at the start of last year, it took maybe three or four months to spread across the entire game. So it was very frustrating because people were asking me questions about things they couldn't access, and I was making videos about things they couldn't see. Oh, that coffee's good. It's warm. It's just like rock, R4, R4 builds. Okay. I'm assuming like... Um, 
uh, if you've watched my videos on Guns and Glory, you have uh, resource stations in there uh, in Guns and Glory that the Alliance people build and then everybody can gather from. And it's got like 10 billion resources. There's a lot of stuff happening in this game. And one of the reasons I'm playing Guns of Glory is not only because I like it, but there's a lot of stuff happening in Rise of Empires that they're copying from Guns of Glory. Guns of Glory has been around a lot longer. Um, and there's definitely a lot of stuff they're using that Guns of Glory has been using for a while. So, you know, it's kind of like I get you know, a semi tiny, tiny preview because I'm like, oh, this is a good idea. And then suddenly four weeks later, it pops up in Rise of Empires. Um, I start an account of 467 and join my lines. I have so many accounts. <laughs> I can't manage. I can barely manage these accounts. You can see that they're not even moving level at the moment. So I think I don't need to start any new accounts at the moment, especially if I'm going to reactivate one of my old ones soon. James Scott is here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, what we haven't done, of course, guys, is, as I should always do, is we need to say uh, a huge thank you to all of my members. Um, we have, ooh, we've gone up a couple of members this week. Uh, Leon Carney, Rohit Singh, Jorgen Sargit, Discord42, David Rasmussen, Freddy Monk, Kaylee Garner, Matthew Morrison, Rocky Devil, Matt Johnston. Matt Johnston's not here. Where is he? He's usually in the chat. Uh, BTL Girl and Louise Vanstone, thank you all so much for joining and becoming members. Anybody can be a member. Basically, I just say hello to you sometimes. That's about it. <laughs> That's the best thing I could think to offer because I didn't want to make private videos for certain people. I think that's a little bit kind of rude. So you just get in a hello occasionally, um, which I think is fair enough. Uh, we've got 20 people here, which is fantastic. Welcome. Please make sure that you uh, let everybody know in the chat who you are and where you're from. Uh, if you're from a certain state, maybe you'll meet, meet a friend or your mortal enemy. Um, and also, you know, please feel free to ask any questions you possibly might have. We are currently here in 431 um, for Emperor Void for... Guns of Glory vids, check out Gun Muse. Yeah, see, the thing is, Void, and this is that whole thing as well with my channel. Uh, not necessarily my channel. I actually don't like watching YouTube videos on the games I play. <laughs> so I actually don't. And like with Rise of Empires, when I started recording for this game, I, I think there was there was maybe one or two people who'd done it. Uh, Tripaholics had, had done a couple of startup videos on it. Um, and there was one Spanish guy, Sparta, I think it was, had done one video. Um and I didn't watch them. I just started doing my own videos. And I, up until this day, I don't really watch the other YouTube uh, YouTubers for Rise of Empires. I keep an eye on like Wee Little Me and Lord of Pontail and RK Empire and uh, Pro Noobs because they're friends and we chat a bit about stuff. You know, so I check out and give them a thumbs up when I can. But yeah, I mean, I like to learn the games myself and make my own mistakes. So for Guns of Glory, I haven't watched a single video. And I doubt I will. Even though there's heaps of videos out there, I don't watch any of them. I just kind of muddle through and try to learn by my mistakes. Because that's, I think that's the fun way. That's what I like doing. Um, hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Beeping sons of beeps. Uh, <laughs> you can swear in the chat. I don't mind if you swear in the chat. It will ask me to approve the message. And I will approve it. But yeah, I try not to swear in my videos. But in live streams, uh, I don't mind a little bit of swearing. Um <sighs> It, it doesn't really matter so much, uh, you know, and I mean, all of my videos are, 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 are rated not for kids uh, anyway, so it's okay. There's no problem with that. Um, so we've got State 459, we've got Honey Badger 369 and 467, we've got Alex Purr from 440, uh, we've got Angela, who is Hippie Ange from 392. Okay, so we've got some, uh, some kind of late states coming in here, which is great, that's always good. I like it when new people are playing and continue to play the game. That is my job. Join Discord. It's a big mail. Um, if you haven't joined the Discord, I think there's a link in my channel. So this is the official Discord from Rise of Empires. It is a bit chaotic at times, uh, but there are, uh, I think it was over 10,000 people. Um, the, not sure if we know. Uh, I don't know what Taz is asking there. I'll have to check with him later. Um, Right, we're here, yeah, but it's good. I mean, part of, I've said this before, I really like to see new people because that's kind of where I see my videos being best is helping new people settle into the game, so to speak, um, and kind of helping you to learn how to learn. Uh, did anybody watch my gold video yet, which came out this morning? Uh, gold, 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 or what was it called? All about gold, something gold, gold man, gold member. Golden, Goldfinger. I've done this before in a video. Got confused about Goldfinger. Goldfinger. 
Uh, let's go here, do this. What we're kind of doing is we're kind of waiting for some of these updates so I can push the button on castle level 12, basically. Vex here from 326, hello. Uh, like a saw. I got super excited the other day on my Instagram, um, which I don't know if the link in my description leads to my main Instagram or to an Instagram I forgot and I don't use anymore. <laughs> but on my main Instagram, Mr. Gill Stockholm, um, I posted a picture of some food or something I was doing and it got liked by um, Corrales. So Corrales is one of the original, uh, the OG uh, Minecraft YouTubers. And he's kind of, we, I sold him some Lego years and years ago when I had a Lego shop. And occasionally he pops up in my feed and likes something, uh, which I find fantastic because, you know, he's got a couple of million subs. And, you know, he's a very good Minecraft builder. So I got excited yesterday. So I was like, eh, 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 like that. Very, very good mood yesterday. It was very fun. It's kind of weird, though, you know, but it's kind of like he's like a celebrity, even though I've talked to the guy on the phone and stuff. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of odd when he kind of clicks the like. I'm like, yeah, Corrales, do thanks. Um, which is fun. <sighs> Anyway, I don't know why we went on to that, but that's what I was excited about yesterday. Um, like the here, like the so. Uh, like the so. Those two, we should update that, but we probably won't now. We should probably train some people as well. Let's get some of this going. We really need to get up a couple of levels, actually. We're very, very behind. I just find it hard with, um, if you're trying, like if you record a video, on something basic you don't want to I don't want to level up too far I did definitely for the gold video I was kind of planning to do this for a few days so I didn't want to get these to a too high level or to complicate matters too much by keeping them at a low level it was easy to kind of explain what I was trying to explain uh, and to count the numbers you know if you've got like 10 million gold coming in uh, it's incredibly hard to kind of count and analyze as I was doing in that gold video this morning um, which took ages actually <laughs> Bloody forever. Uh, I can build something in charcoal, can I? I can build a little factory. Lovely. Let's pop one of those over here. Like I saw. Where'd it go? Did anybody see where that went? Right, that just disappeared, did it? Right. How strong is the best player in Rise of Empires? God knows, very strong. But there's a there's there's a there's castle limits and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how strong the best player is. So if we go to like here, I wonder if this will allow me uh, to see anything. I don't think it's going to allow me to see anything at this level. I don't think I'm strong enough, or it's just the game lags out. Yeah, I don't think it will. Uh, your video certainly helped point me in the right direction. I am glad. And I'm glad you said point you in the right direction. As I said, I don't like to hold people's hands too much. Um, I just kind of, I think people, I think you should learn. That's so much fun of the game, is learning. Is going, what does this do if I click it? Why does it do that if I click it? What happened to that charcoal factory that we just put down and now it's disappeared? It did not go down. Okay, so fine. Pop in there, please. Bang, there it goes. Brilliant. Okay, build that. Right. Cool. Uh, research something. So dance a lot is on as well. Fantastic. Uh, research. We will only be. Okay. What was I trying to aim for again? Because I wanted to do a video on it. Is this here? I'm going to try and compare the legions at certain points of their um, research capability in class versus the uh, legion one. Uh, so I wanted to get this research up to 12% as well. Get some more of the iron, please. Like so. I'll research that. That should be ready. Hopefully by tomorrow I can do that video. Yeah, I wanted to do some base level research, uh, base level comparison between the two legions. Um, and so, because, you know, you get a buff, obviously, by using certain legions if you're a raider, blah, 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 blah. But, and like how much gold you can actually take and not take and all this kind of stuff. Um, but that's going to take a few days to set up, I believe. Now, we should be able to speed this baby up a little bit. Oh, actually, we should be able to click on our dragon and feed him, no? Uh, are you still in quarantine? No, 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 I'm out of quarantine. Been out of quarantine for a couple of weeks now. Uh, back in Melbourne. 
which is absolutely lovely. Um, and never really want to do that experience again. <laughs> it sounds awful to say that, you know, living in a hotel room for two weeks is bad, but it was very incredibly boring. And just the lack of air, there was no open windows, so and the lack of fresh air I found very, very strange and infuriating. Um, I didn't like it at all. Coffee time. Uh, state. Oh, L. There you go. You, you, there you go. People know each other. Fantastic. We're from the frame, frame, uh, same state, which is awesome. Uh, okay, that could be finished. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This could be upgraded again, please. Yes, we need castle. We need 11. Excellent. And then we can help that and we can speed this one up here. Uh, 32. We're running out of speed up, so that's fine. We're going to get some today. Because we're going to finish some events. What day is it? It's Tuesday. Ah, oh, but it's not reset yet, so it's Monday. What? Why is this training unit? Is that right? It should be gathering day, isn't it? Oh, okay. Because of the time zones are different. It's actually reset Monday starts soon. But it's Tuesday for me, so I'm very confused. <laughs> very confused. It's Everything's always a day behind now. But for like a year and a half, I was playing, you know, ahead of the game, so to speak. Um, okay, so that's done, that's done, that's done. This needs to be upgraded. We need to get this. Oh, the house is upgraded now, so we can do this one. Like the cell three hours, we don't have enough time for that, so we're going to go like this, like this, uh, like this, and speed you up. I'll use these two hours here. I'm going to have to use some of these gems for speed ups, I think. Like so. Bam. And then we just need to get this farm up, and then we can push the button on castle level 12. Only seven years behind when I should have pushed it, basically. Uh, three, fantastic, that's 11. Okay, so now we should be able to do this. Can we hold all this stuff? Of course, I've not checked that, have I? Can I do that? 160 food, yes I can. 160 wood, uh, yes I can fit that in. 300,000 marble, yes I can. And 250,000 iron, I bet you the iron I can't. Nope, I need to do an iron upgrade. This is it, rise of the storage depot upgrades. That's what this game should be called. Um, have I seen the new uh, Guns of Glory update? I have. I had a brief look at it this morning. It looks fantastic. Uh, I don't care what the beeping mother bleepers say, you rock. Yes, thank you very much. I, I try to rock on uh, various occasions and with uh, due abandon. Um, right. Like so. Like so. Like so. Oh, cool. We've got something here. Like so. Hopefully this gives us speed ups. That's all I really want right now is speed ups. Five minute building speed ups, it's good. Um, let's see, can we speed this thing up? How long is it going to take? 17 minutes, we can speed this up. Like so. Excellent, that should give us enough. 226, and how much did we need to upgrade? 250, so we need to do one more iron upgrade. Good god, this is annoying. I hate that, that this, you're just stuck with these bloody things. All of this. The only way. One of the things. Actually, this is. I'm going to make a new. I made a video. Uh, Discord 42 is here. Hello, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, what was I just about to say? I made a video uh, a few months ago saying what I would change in Rise of Empires. I'm going to make a new video what I would change in Rise of Empires. Storage upgrades. It's the only way they throttle growth. And I find it very annoying because they could be a little bit more creative with how they throttle growth. But they literally just rely on these five buildings, the storage depots, in order to slow players down. That's the only thing that slows players down is upgrading storage depots. Um, which is, it's just a very lazy way of managing resources and a very lazy game mechanic. Uh, and it could be done so much better, so much more creatively. They could use research in different ways. They could, you know, lots of different things. They could spread it out amongst some of these buildings that, you know, literally don't have much of a purpose after a certain point. But it just comes down to, this. literally, this game just comes down to upgrading these storage depots. Uh, and that's the only real uh, progress halt that they have in the game. Uh, it's just, it's quite poor game design. Um, 
and they should just change it <laughs> in my view because it, it just it makes the game boring is if you all you know is that i will have to upgrade the storage difference i have to upgrade the storage difference i have to upgrade, you know you know effectively that's all you do that's what everything that the game is designed is to get resources to upgrade the storage depots that's why i've often said this game should be called rise of storage depots okay so that's been done that's been upgraded now we should be able to do this yes we needed to fit 250,000, we can fit 326, we should have enough of all of this stuff, let's uh, push the button on this, uh, like a so, and we will try to speed this up using gems I believe, get to castle level 12, do we have 62,000, oh, what, we don't have any charcoal in supply, right, okay, that was stupid, why do I not have any charcoal? That's uh, because oh, I haven't done any trading, have I? Because I'm useless. And it's three hours until the balloon comes back. Fantastic. Idiot. <laughs> uh, let's go like this, then let's see if we can rapid production. Um, awesome, awesome. Coffee time. Damn, no charcoal. That sucks. Um, you can't raid charcoal, can you? So it's kind of useless. Uh, what are these things? Boring stuff here. Boring, 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 boring. What's that? Rogue charge. Time left one day. Defeat marauders on the map to these. Okay, go to this. What's this? Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. I have to attack this guy, yeah? Okay, cool. I'll attack this guy. Alright, nice, 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 nice. Okay, like a so. Flip out over here. Like a so. Excellent. Uh, may as well do this while we're just waiting. Like a so. Like so, like so. Cool. And like so. Okay, we've got a cap here, have we? Okay, that's fine. Now we can rapid production these things. 75% chance, yeah, that's alright. That's annoying <laughs> that it failed. Repair that. Didn't cost me anything anyway, so it's fine. Now, I've wrapped that one. This is why isn't it staying in my ear every week? Like that. Okay, and wrap it this. Like so. Uh, 24,000. Let's fill in a little bit here. Transport over there. Like so. Okay, so we're a bit stuck because we don't have the charcoal. Sucks. Um, you can't buy charcoal, can you? In the items uh, store? I don't think you can, can you? No, you can't buy charcoal. I'm damn sure it is. It's very annoying. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> okay, okay, so then we can rapid production that. Not going to give us a lot, and that's getting us up to 33,000. We need 64,000. So, what's the production at, at the moment? Uh, 58 versus 10, not a huge amount. I swear we had charcoal left here. Hmm, I wonder what happened to it because I thought I, I kept some in reserve so I didn't have to use it. In fact, I know I did. Uh, let's upgrade that while we're here. We've got the little dragon effect going. Okay, upgrade, so, upgrade, like so, so basically I, I've got to remember to wake up to the damn, this damn thingy, well it comes at three hours, so it comes at reset, reset for me is like lunchtime, so it's alright, but I'm usually having lunch, and I don't like to be playing games. <laughs> Um, I agree in the storage upgrade, uh, but night is what I remove. Yeah, night is pointless. I know it's like it slows down charcoal production or that, or with solar power or something. I don't know. Everything slows down a little bit, but it's absolutely a waste of time. Uh, Louis Vanstone, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Louise, I think I saw that you joined my other channel as well. Uh, I subbed to my other channel, Jimmy Two Lunch. Um, I hope you've seen one of the videos there and enjoyed it because I loved making that food video the other day. Got big, big plans for this week on that channel. 
Um, and it's actually growing, but it's, it's weird starting a new channel and starting from scratch again and trying to grow subscribers and members and stuff like that because you've got to get to the 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours before you can monetize the videos, uh, which means ad advertisement. And that kind of is what makes it worthwhile. You, know, you don't earn a lot of money from YouTube, but it is helpful to have that little bit of money that kind of funds doing the videos, uh, spending the time, so to speak. Otherwise, it is doing it for free. While fantastically fun and noble is an incredible, it takes an incredible amount of time. Uh, so it's kind of weird starting a new channel up and seeing how that goes. Um, and slowly, slowly, it will get there for sure, for sure. Uh, right, 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 right. That's doing that. So we're just, we're kind of stuck now that we need 30,000 more bloody charcoal. Does any of the monsters give charcoal? They don't, do they? So now we find another point that you can't do anything without charcoal. Which is, I guess, a better mechanic than storage upgrades, effectively. So we attacked that monster. Did we get anything for that? It was in here, no? Benefit center. It was what, something up here. Dangerous rogue. We got nothing that for a chance to receive any of these items. Okay, so we got nothing. What's thunderclap? Earn one hundred thousand. I haven't even earned a hundred thousand cumulative resources. Yes, I have. Well, that's a million. No, it's a hundred thousand. I definitely earned a hundred thousand. I've got a hundred thousand sitting now. You mean earn a hundred thousand resources? I've got a hundred thousand resources. Uh, what channel I will subscribe to? I think there should be a link, um, but it's called Jimmy, J-I-M-I -I, space, the numeral two space lunch, Jimmy two lunch. I think there's a link somewhere either in the description of this or in the description of my latest videos. I've added the link to that channel, uh, I, but that's food. So it's not anything to do with gaming. It's about me visiting restaurants in Melbourne. So it's more like a vlog type thing. Um, I'm going with my sister this week. We're doing dumpling testing on Wednesday. So my sister loves dumplings, so she's chosen five, no, four or five places that she reckons have the best dumplings in town. And we're going to go eat four or five sets of dumplings <laughs> and uh, then kind of say this one's the best, which should be fun. Um, Osman, it's in the backpack. What's in the backpack? Well, the thing I earned. Did I earn something? No, I don't think so. Uh, what, are, what are those? Oh yeah, for the dragon. Yeah, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Um, why don't I have charcoal? It's so frustrating. I've got quite a lot of experience. I'm not going to use the experience yet. I don't know what heroes I want to focus on. That said, didn't I get Ori the other day? I did, but not on this castle. Um, hmm. Probably want to do North Rage because they've got the HP skill for later on. Yeah. Press the Alliance Help button. What's the Alliance Help button? This one. Just me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, who's a member? Where's this guy? Ice Bear Dad. Castle level 17. I don't know who that is. Eh, they can come. If they're annoying, I can kick them out. It doesn't really matter. Um, I haven't donated to the Alliance. I've done nothing. But it's okay. We're going to probably join somebody else soon. Yeah, I said Academy, or I said Academy. Academy of Deep. Because I spelled that wrong, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Um, did we get this done? We did. Let's donate something. Power of Belief equals Power of Lazy Devs. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically. I'm surprised how long it takes them to do stuff in this game, considering other games are a lot faster, and considering how much money they make. I was speaking to one of the devs the other day, though, so I don't know how rude I should be, really, to be honest. <laughs> probably not. I, sh I probably shouldn't be rude. But I don't really care. So. <sighs> they wanted me to do some videos, but I, I don't think I'm going to. Um, there's too much, uh, too many rules, you know, make a video, but it has to do this and this and say this and this stuff. And, you know, and I'm like, I don't, I don't really like the rules. You know, I'm not a big fan of the rules. I like making my own stuff and doing my own thing. Um, like this, like this, we're just waiting for this damn charcoal. That's going to take forever, forever, ever. 
My bad, in events or mail. That could be something. Activities. Dangerous rogue. Aha. Did I get something? I got a resource chest. Thank you. Maybe that resource chest will have some charcoal in it. Let's see. Where is it? It's in my items, I'm assuming. Uh, there, in the backpack. Uh, resource chest. Use. Got marble. That's great. Alright, well, let's attack a few more of those monsters then. Uh, how did we do it? We went into Benefit Center. Uh, dangerous Rogue. Go to. This is not too bad. If I get Rogue, that'd be fantastic, but I doubt. Level 7. I don't think I can beat a level 7. I don't think I can. Um, what's my strength? 33,000. I think maybe if I finish the healing up with some guys. Alex Per. Yes, dumplings. Yes, I'm very excited for dumplings. Um, and before that, I'm going to go to a restaurant and have um, a steak, an Argentinian restaurant and have a steak lunch. And then six servings of dumplings and possibly something after that as well. So I'm going to starve myself today, effectively, <laughs> because tomorrow I'm going to be eating a lot of food. Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday, so it is tomorrow. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, which should be fun and hanging out with my sister was always good she's quite funny and you know that's nice maybe get her on camera a little bit which would be cool let's train up this like so here no, get get the stuff don't make me spend the gems you cheeky game uh like so like so like so like so um right okay do that and do this speed this up like that, that's done. Then how strong are we now? Can we attack a level 7? 50,000, yes we can. Okay, so back into the benefits. Dangerous and rogue. All levels give same rewards. We tested it in 369. Nice! I like that we tested it. Testing is fun. Learning is good. All levels give the same... But does it have to take me to the one that it wants me to attack? This is what I'm... I'm or is it just attacking any marauder? In any shape or form. Uh, Discord. Joined the devs Discord and got more votes for my suggestion than all the others I saw there to make way for two Reign of Chaos Wars a week instead of three. Sadly, they picked easy implement suggestions so far. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the suggestion thing is going to be, uh, I think it's a great resource, but I think changing um, how many wars you have, it, that's a fundamental game change. I don't think that's going to happen through the suggestion box. Um, I mean, it might, but yeah, I doubt it. What's this guy? He's going to attack me. Isn't he? He's bringing his guy back. He's going to boot me sometime. Any giants, no reward. Any giants, no reward? No. Um, yeah. I still, uh, Discord, I still can't see the... Um, the active suggestions, something's wrong with my personal Discord. Okay, back we go. Alright, have a look at charcoal. Not very good at all. We should probably put some more wood in here. We can we can waste a bit of wood, we have enough, I think. Uh, transport like so. Like so. Uh, transport again. This is very frustrating. I should have checked this before we started playing. Uh, it looks like they will allow us to skip the tutorial soon, though. Oh, that's interesting. Being able to skip the tutorial will mean suddenly we have a massive explosion of farms. I'm pretty sure that's only that's the only thing that keeps some people back <laughs> from, from starting new farms, is the thought of doing that bloody new tutorial again. <laughs> it's the worst thing. It's so annoying. And it's so bad. And it's, yeah, I feel very sorry for the voice actors because they're awful. <laughs> Just awful. <laughs> oh, oh it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's probably the worst tutorial in the game I've ever seen. Um, right, uh, and it's, it's so disconnected with what's actually happening in the game, you know? I, I don't think it, it yeah, this is, the story is all, all screwed up a bit, I think. Uh, they need to kind of rework it a little bit better. But then again, I mean, not many people are joining the game for stories, are they? Um, yeah. 
and Argentinian meat. Yes, yes, it's going to be nice. Um, quite a good Argentinian restaurant. Their steak is fantastic. But I think I'm just going to have a quick lunch. So I think they do like a steak sandwich and a beer for like 20 bucks, uh, which is a pretty good price here in Melbourne um, for a bit fancy. So I think I'm just going to pop by, have that, and then go to the dumplings and then see what happens. Uh, but that should all be up on the other channel by uh, Thursday, I hope. It takes me ages to edit. I think I said before, I'm not a very good editor, so I like to do one-shot videos, which is impossible when you're doing food videos, so it takes me forever to put all the clips together, put in the time lapses, music, um, and all that jazz, right? Sniffly nose, sniffly nose, always a sniffly nose in the morning, I don't know why. Right, okay, so we're waiting for this, which is going to be ages, and so that's probably not going to be able to do that now, which is very frustrating, but that's fine. Um... What we're going to do then is see if we can get more of this rogue stuff, I guess. It's only one reward, is it? Oh no. So we didn't, we attacked another one and we didn't get anything. Right. So it's only once you can get this reward? Where is it? It's not here, it's here. I think it's only once. Because we've attacked just then and nothing happened. And my guy's already come back. Yeah, okay, so that was kind of a waste. We didn't beat him, that's why. I don't think we beat him. There's no battle report. Why is there no battle report? Where's it gone? Huh. Oh, there's Marauder attack report. I'm an idiot. Did we beat the Marauder? No, we didn't. Okay, that's why we didn't get anything. Okay, so let's attack a level 5 or something. Uh... Claudio, Florin, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, right. Well, let's just attack any old... Uh, I guess level 5 is probably better for us. Yeah, yeah, because we're not very strong. We lost like his troops then. That sucked. <laughs> um, should be 20 times a day. Okay. Or well, should be 20. I'm assuming that means 20 times a day, yeah. Uh, can we claim this yet? No, because we've got too much crap. Because we're waiting for this bloody thing. What crap have we got? We've got food crap and we've got ale crap. I don't mind wasting either of those craps. So let's go like I saw. Cool. That gave us, yeah, iron and metal are fine. I don't mind wasting food or ale. Yeah, that wasted food. Fantastic. Great. Don't care. Uh, actually, we can probably donate that food somewhere just to make up some space. Uh, but we've already done all of our donations, haven't we? We did this before, because I'm a moron. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. Guys, please feel free to ask any questions down below. I am relatively sure I can answer them, unless they're about Dragon Relic, which I don't think I know anything about yet. <laughs> or Eden. <laughs> Dragon Relic or Eden. Two massive things in the game I have no idea. See, the problem with as I do these live streams, I always have one cup of coffee before the live stream, then one cup of coffee during the live stream, and then I can feel myself getting quite hyperactive, because two cups of coffee is, is a lot for me. Uh, well, actually, it's becoming more normal. Uh, heal these guys, like that. Yeah. Uh, like so. Um, the training there, we're in, a, we're in a training thing, are we? 18 minutes, we're in a training hourly, aren't we? We Can we get to 470? We possibly might be able to, because we should have training speed up, so don't have to use many of those. Uh, five minute training speed ups, 15 minutes. Yeah, hourly trainings. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of that. Uh, let's use the 15 minutes, five minutes. Uh, one minute, like so. Cool. How do you unlock Dragon Master armor? <laughs> you reset. Research, research, research. Um, it's at the end. Just keep going. Uh, you know, after you've done all of this, after you've got through Reign of Chaoses and all this kind of stuff, your other researchers open up and then you, you research them and unlock them. Uh, it, yeah, it's just, it's more end game stuff. Um, so there's no kind of like trick or, oh, what do I do? It's just, you get there and then you see Dragon Master research and you research all of it and then you've got the Dragon Master. So it's not hard. Uh, and if you can't see it or you're worried about it, you're just not high enough level yet, so you don't need to stress about it because you're not missing out. 
um, because you're not there, you're not ready. Um, like so, we've got three of those, cool. Uh, like so, and there's nothing really, I mean, with a lot of the end game stuff, there's nothing really you can do now to prepare yourself for them, if you know what I mean. There's not like, you know, uh, if, I, if I do this research now, then I'm going to be better, you know. It's all still, do your zone commemoration, that's your first consideration. After that, just research it all. Um, and you'll notice by the time you get to castle level 23 or something, you know, the researchers take so long, you've finished off so many of them that you only have a few avenues to go down. So that's all you do. Um, and by that point, you know, you're kind of, it becomes quite limiting, which is often why I stopped playing at that level. I think my first castle, I stopped at C25 and I think I was just about to get T9s or I just had T9s and I stopped because, oh God, great. Now we're just going to literally do everything we research, everything we do. It's these tiny upgrades, um, and you just funnel down one path. Nothing opens up. It doesn't get that much bigger. You've done 95% of the game, and the devs are so slow to add in more stuff that it just becomes you're just waiting uh, and quite boring. So, yeah, I don't... Uh, um, this is the, the start is always the good bit because there's so many avenues you can take. But once you've got to a certain level, you've done every avenue. You know, and you might be there one week faster than another guy who did it a slightly different way, but that's all that it really comes down to. You might be one week faster versus another person. And we're talking about free to play here, yeah, not by people who spend money. Um, but yeah, all about research. Research everything. Um, uh, we attack that guy. Cool, let's attack him again. Because we seem to be getting these chests, which is awesome. I like chests, because we're hoping one of the. What about a level 6? Can we attack a level 6? Let's give a level 6 shot. Uh, like a so. Okay. Uh, and then let's check if we get anything. All we really want is charcoal out of this damn thing. It's not going to give us... Oh, huh? hero experience. You know what? Maybe let's uh, let's let's do this hero. I think I think I should take uh, North Rage up. Because I probably want to use North Bed more than I want to use um, Dual Blades. Uh, so let's just completely max you out with all of the experience we have. I know I should probably save this experience for Thursday. It's pretty important considering the low level I am, but oh well. we'll have some more by then for sure. So we've got up to level 21, which is nice, and then we should be able to do a little bit of this. Okay, cool. Can we unlock this one yet? Yep, let's unlock that. Do that. Oh, we don't have enough. Can we unlock this one yet? Uh, rare hero metal to choose. We've got five of those. We do. Let's do this. Uh, oh, we don't have enough wisdom metals. Okay, fine. Then we have to do that. We will have to exchange. Oh, we haven't done any exchanging in the bar, actually. That is a good point. Completely forgot about that. Zap back around. Come to here. Exchanging in the arena, I mean, sorry. Let's exchange those three. Okay, cool. Right, 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 right. Okay, how are we doing for charcoal? We're doing all right. 40,000, we need 20,000 more. Oh, should be rapid. 75%, we can give it another shot. Yay. Should we do it again. Uh, is it always 75% now? I think it is. It doesn't drop below 75% once you've done that first initial research, I think. How do you get enough courage medals to research zone calm? Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have a video on how to get courage medals, but it effectively it is. It just, it's chests and time. When Clash of Province starts, which should be within the first couple of weeks, um, you'll see Clash of Province here. We're in warm-up at the moment. But uh, the chests you receive from Clash of Provinces will give you medals, which you then use to research its own commemoration, which will increase your points in, in Clash of Provinces. So it's a virtuous circle. Um, attacking high-level monsters over level 10, I believe, will give you a chance of getting one uh, Courage Medal. Um... Where else do you get courage medals from? It's kind of it, I think. You can obviously buy them, but yeah, it takes a long time. It's not, you know, I'm saying it's not easy. Um, and I've, I've said this many times before: is that uh, this is a long game. Yeah, minimum if you want to get through the two, possibly three seasons of, of Reign of Chaos. Who knows what's happening there? Uh, the Eden, whatever this new dragon relic thing is, it's going to take you roughly six months to a year. Um, so don't think that things are going to happen in your first month or two. Yeah. When your first month or two, you should just be focused on getting to T8 troops 
as fast as possible. And once Zonecom does open up, researching that as much as possible. Um, exploring with Dragon, yeah, that's good. Uh, hero tokens, of course, yes, hero tokens, that's what I was trying to think about. Hero tokens in here is a great way of getting courage medals. And it's all I will be spending my hero tokens on is courage medals. Obviously, guys, go for the 50 for 15. That is a better deal than whatever the other one is. 50 for 200 for 50 or something like that. Uh, it's just a better overall deal, so do that. Yeah, chests and time. Both I don't get enough of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while, man. It takes a while. There's nothing uh, you can really do about it. Uh, I don't care for this. Cool. Oh, we've got 86,000, so we can do our upgrade, I believe. Yes, we can. Okay, so let's just get all of this going. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this game, I mean, if you want to play this game competitively, I'd say you gotta, you've got to put in maybe three to four hours a day. Uh, and that's not including when there's events like duels in Reign of Chaos or kill events. You know, it's three to four hours a day just to maintain and update your castle effectively. Uh, you could probably get that down to two hours by just being more efficient. But yeah, it's, it doesn't, it's not easy and it's not quick. Uh, it, the game demands a lot of your time in order to be uh, competitive within your state and stuff like that. Um, and it's looking forward you know in terms of game development and how many people are playing the game etc and all that kind of stuff it's not going to get easier in fact i think it's going to get a lot longer and a lot harder to play this game competitively uh because the money thing is becoming a little bit more of an issue than it used to be in my view um like so or a little bit more of an issue than i remember i think it's always been an issue but yeah it is definitely not as there's definitely a lot of bit more big spenders. See, this is it. The more people you get in the game, so say you get a thousand people join, you know, there's always going to be a percent of, the, of those who spend a lot of money on the game. Uh, so then when you get more people joining, this game does have quite a lot of people activating accounts every day now. It's, it's got more popular without a doubt, um, especially over the last, say, six months. Uh, you're going to find that the, there's a higher proportion of pay-to-win people, um, and they are harder to counteract. And I think the game definitely needs to do something to counteract that. And I'm not saying take away pay to win stuff, but like there should be a way, like with the VIP. Yeah. Obviously, VIP, you know, should be paid for. It's a, it's a special thing that gives you, you know, special good benefits. There should be an easier way for non paying people to earn VIP. You can, if everybody in your alliance bought VIP, it's going to give you enough badges, say, to get activate VIP for yourself. But I think there should be a way that it's a little bit easier than that. Say you can earn five VIP badges a week by ticking every task or something like that. So it still takes a long time, but I think it should be open for all. Uh, okay, so we did castle level 12. Fantastic. Let's build up whatever we've got to build. Just another farm, I guess. Great, more farms. Fantastic. That's all we need. We don't really, but, you know, we'll just put it down. We've got no space, have we? We're going to have to expand in a second and reorganize everything, which is going to annoy me because... Things are in their spot because I want them to be there. That's free. We should have got a hourly challenge. Excellent. What's that one? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, nice. Gems is good. We seem to be okay for gems. I mean, I think I'm going to do an update video on how to get gems because um, I think there's some things that have changed. But we seem to do okay. I seem to always have enough, which is great. So one thing people are always say, I'll never have enough gems to shield at the start, you know, for three day shields and stuff like that. I always seem to have enough and I haven't spent any money. The only money I spent was to change my avatar, so which that's one dollar or ninety nine cents, I think it is. Benefit center, we seem to have earned something here, have we? Yes. Like that. What is eighty thousand points? What are points? How do you get the points? Increase building power, increase technology power. What is this? Ascent of the Empires. This is all this new stuff that happens at the start of the game for new people. It's great, but I don't know if you need it necessarily. Like, it's just another way of continuing the feast, I guess. But yeah, I think it's a way. This is maybe, maybe actually thinking about it logically. This is a way for new players to speed up and get better faster, I guess. 
which is cool. Uh, research wise, no, research wise, let's go in here and let's see if we can do our first bit of zone comp. Uh, we do want to, oh, I'm going to come back to that because I want to do that. We, we should be able to do this. Oh, yes, of course. This is why I'm an idiot. Uh, this needs to be uploaded. We can do it. We have the power. Who did he say that? No, we have the power. I have the power. Is it He-Man? No. He-Man didn't used to say that. No, He-Man used to say, I have the power. Somebody used to say that. Uh, like a soul. Help everybody. Fantastic. Click here. Play this. This. Click that. Okay, what are we going to do? We're going to get 80 points. So we should be able to do that relatively quickly and relatively easily, I think. How can I summon the dragon? What it means? Thanks a lot. Uh, some this dragon. Summon the dragon. Get this right at the start. This dragon, the pink dragon. Uh, if you're talking about summoning it, like getting uh, stronger here, feed the dragon, and you have to have dragon power, so you just need to increase its level by exploring with it. If you're talking about, say, other dragons, if you've built the dragon temple and things like that, which come, I think, at castle level 18, 19, um, then once you get there and have built those, it's pretty easy. You, you make the dragons and you send them. But if you summon the dragon, I don't necessarily know which dragon you mean. And if it's this one, it's all very automatic. Just explore, explore, explore in here, like so. And then when the experience gets high enough and your power of belief is enough, which just happens as the levels go up, you can't really do much about it. Then you click here and it makes the dragon look different. But yeah, it's not really that. Um, but there's no other dragons until castle level 19. And then summoning those, you, you, that's a relatively easy. The kind of the buildings that you have, the Dragon Temple, explain how to do it, how to send them or attack or something like that. Uh, uh -huh. we, we're not beating anything, are we? Are we beating these marauders? Or am I just dying? I'm dying. Okay, so I'm just getting my butt, butt kicked. <laughs> right. I thought I was stronger than this. I'm obviously not. Right. Uh. Black Dragon is about, yeah, it's C19, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I couldn't remember if it was 18 or 19. If you get it at 18 and then you use it, there. Those are a shame. I think the dragons are a big shame at the end. They're kind of end game, and by the time you've got all the dragons, everybody's so powerful. I, kind of, I think they should introduce them earlier. I think they're far more fun earlier on. Um, and they should be... Uh, yeah, and they, they shouldn't be as expensive as they are. <laughs> really expensive if you're going to use a lot of them. Um, speed this up, sorry. Let's just. Uh, three minutes. Three, like so. Right, one second. Like that. Uh, okay, so obviously we're useless and we can't attack even level 5 things because we're useless. Where is it? So we've attacked that. Level 6 Iron Swordsman. And we've been defeated twice now. About 50,000 power. I think I'm going to need a lot more troops. Light cavalry, light cavalry, light cavalry. Everything's light cavalry. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more troops and training, I think, to get that going on. I don't think it's necessarily... Okay, that's good. Gather marble gives me a thing. I should do that. Right, guys, um, I hate the Destroyer Dragon introducing Rancast 2. To be honest, I, you know, it's very annoying. Um, I, I, I agree with you, it's very annoying. It's, I've played in states where it's used a lot, and I've played, played in states where it's not used that often, and it comes down to the defensive setups around uh, Alliance Center 1. If your defense is further than, say, 100 kilometers, the, 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 the Destroyer Dragon becomes semi-useless. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it is annoying. I can under, I understand exactly what you mean, but I think it's also as a thing, it kind of becomes useless if everybody is already set up and ready, if you know what I mean. Um, it used to be better because you used to be able to launch the dragon. Maybe you can, but I couldn't work it out in season two when I was playing in two, five, nine or season, yeah, season two. 
You used to be able to launch the dragon against enemy castles in your state, um, which was a great great use of it as a defensive weapon, but they took that away, which was very annoying. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, that's a shame. It was very helpful. So, our first uh, Reign of Chaos War tomorrow, have a few questions. Sure, go for it. Did we die again? Why are we dying all the time? Um, first duel tomorrow, eh? Hey? So yeah, that's Tuesday. Oh yeah, again, because my time zones are different. Hey, Foxy Music. Oh, FX. I keep on thinking his name is Foxy Music, but F. You music. <laughs> good to see you, good to see you. Um, right, like so, like so, like so. Uh, what are we stuck on now, basically? We're stuck on trying to attack these things, so we need higher level troops. So, we are castle level 12. What happens if we upgrade this again? Uh, things will be unlocked at 13, so we need to get castle level 13, I guess. Great. That's going to take me a while. Quarry, tavern, all of this food, which is going to be massive upgrades for all of my storage depots. Fantastic. Uh, we can definitely go up on the houses, like so. Uh, so, yeah, if you didn't hear me waiting on the questions for your first Reign of Chaos War, no problem, I can help. So we believe that they have to destroy our AC1 first to start destroying AC2. Nope. They do not. However, that, that, that's never a thing. There's no order you have to destroy the AC2 ACs in. Um, however, because it's the first war, the first duel, they will not have territory in your province. Yeah? Because they would have not have come over. They've not taken any tiles yet because it's the first. Yeah? So there's not going to be any way for them to get to your AC2 unless they build a long road. Now, hopefully you put your AC2 on the inside of band two, so it's not close to band, it's as far away as possible from band one. Uh, so it, yeah, on the inside of band two, I think it's 260 kilometers minimum from the edge of band one, which is where they can place their rally point because they can only place their rally points in order. Yeah, so rally, rally points have to be placed in band one first until AC1 is destroyed. However, what you can do is you can place it at the edge of band one and the edge of band two, and then you can make, say, a long road towards your AC2 and destroy that. So all you need to do, especially in the first war, because they have no territory in your state whatsoever, is just keep an eye that they're not building a very long road towards your AC2, and then just defend your AC1. It would be highly unlikely that they're gonna go for your AC2 on the first duel of the first season. Um, question for you, Mister. What hero is the best to army? <sighs> what sometimes you can't decide. It, it, what heroes do you have? What heroes? Uh, what troops do you have? Um, etc. 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 There's a series of videos I've got which I try to explain very simply. Uh, I think there's three videos, the best heroes, and I go through why. In very simple terms, yeah? We don't go too intense into the skills and stuff, but in very simple terms, what I would do. So I go, is this hero for cavalry? Do I have a lot of cavalry? And that's how I decide which goes where. But it really depends on what heroes you have. Asking what is the best hero is asking me what is the best hero out of one, two, three, four, five, the first eight. Then all the seasonal heroes, which we can't see yet, uh, of which there's, so there's maybe 50, 60 heroes. It's very different depending on your level, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Uh, what happens to the draft for Season 2, Reign of Chaos? Do you compete against the same states again? Yes, depending. I think the draft for Reign of Chaos is based somewhat on the results of Season 1 and somewhat on Clash of Provinces, I believe. Yeah, I'm not going to say I know exactly, but you can face the same states again for sure. Um, and you might face a few new states that you didn't before. But I think the, the algorithm behind it, the formula behind it, is something, something of a mix of how various states did in Reign of Chaos Season 1 and how they're doing in Clash of Provinces, I believe. 
Uh, uh, yes, we did. I saw your videos. Cool. Okay, so I heard something about this rock dragon of C22. Will I get the dragon too? Yes. Uh, rock dragons are dragons that can be used by your R4 and R5. You get five of them, I'm going to say. I think you get three. No, you get one for each alliance center you have, you build. So if you build four alliance centers, I believe you get four, possibly five, but maybe that's a season two thing. Um, and your enemy will get the same. You can then launch them on any of your enemy, but the enemy has to be connected with tiles, yeah? So your color tiles, which will be blue if you're playing, or maybe no, your tiles are blue, your, your tiles are green. In your screen, your tiles are green and your allies, your alliances, tiles are blue. So whoever you want to launch the Reign of Chaos Dragon against, and only the R4 or R5 can do that, they need to be connected to a blue tile, either diagonally or straight on. Yeah. And it will instantly port or zero uh, whoever you launch it against. Be careful with it. I never use it uh, uh, in attack. I only use it in defense. It's more useful there, I believe. Um, but yeah, make sure you use them up. They're free. You get them. You get the same amount every every duel, basically. Um, so yeah, it's always fun to use them, and it, they will instantly pour any castle, regardless. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Where are we? Uh, heal again. Why am I always healing? Because I'm not doing everything, am I? <laughs> That's why I keep on coming back and healing like one dude at a time. Uh, right, okay, like a so, like a so, like a so, like a so. There, get that done. Fantastic. Help everybody. Yes, brilliant. How many times can you use it? Once every one dragon. As I said, for every you get one for every alliance center you have. So minimum I think you have, you will get is is three or four. And you can use it once. You go bang and it's done. Uh, so then you'll have four times to use it or one time to use it if you've only got one alliance center. Uh, but as I said, each duel it refreshes. So you get refreshed and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so you make sure that you use them up. I use footmen for when power is needed, taking buildings, cavalry for taking tiles of speed, what are archers even good for? Uh, archers are stronger than footmen, are they not? Isn't that how it used to be? Didn't I say that in a video that footmen are the ones, but actually archers are the strongest? If we look at it, what does his power got? Level 2 here, guy. His attack is 21. Now, uh, what's the footmen? Uh, train, level 2 guy, we'll just compare 2s to 2s. His attack is 13. So surely the archers are the strongest, and they should be used for attack. Uh, ever. You get four dragons. Yeah. Okay. It's one for every alliance center, isn't it? But it, you have to build the alliance centers. If you haven't built the four centers, you won't get four dragons. If you've only built alliance center one, you'll only get one dragon. Um, for sure. But yeah. And I, I find a lot of... Uh, a lot of the majority of alliances aren't able to build all four all four alliance centers in the first week. They just don't have the stone for it, unless they've been planning right from the start, basically. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I use CAF for pretty much everything, and as I said in a video the other day, I'll be training up whoever's strongest, which is archers here, no, uh, for demolition power during reign of, during reign of chaos. Uh, the demolition of footmen is higher than the archers. That's why we use them. Yes. That's why I said that in that video. And I'm pretty sure that's what I was thinking about. But I don't think I explained it in that video last week. Why I was training certain troops. And somebody was like, aren't archers stronger? And I'm like, yeah, they are. What am I talking about? It's the demo power, of course. You're exactly right. That's why I'll be training a load of footmen for their demo power for Season 1 of Brain of Chaos. Um... Do we get a free teleport for Rock War if we are going to the enemy state and back? Yes, if the rally point is there, you can teleport to it. Close to it. I don't think you get a free teleport. It's... Yeah, you can teleport there and back as long as the rally point is built or available. 
Yeah, Master Jacket. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I, I I was getting confused as well because I just remember talking about this in the comments of a video I did, and the guy's like, "Surely foot archers are stronger," and I'm like, "Yeah, they are." Why did I say footmen? And I didn't remember that I was saying footmen because of higher demo power. But that's why I will be training. But yes, in general terms, archers are stronger. <laughs> uh, Gil, what would be the best tip to get seasonal heroes? I have no spender, so would you advise me to save all my orange tickets to make rain of chaos for a chance at the SD heroes? Yes, I would. I would be saving your tickets um, pretty much... I'm going to save all of the oranges. I probably, because we're doing experimental, I'm going to see what happens with these accounts. But probably one or two accounts, I'll save everything. One account, I'll spend everything. And we'll see where we are at the end of it. Um, but yeah, it is always the best option to save your tickets as long as you possibly can. Um, tomorrow, MC25, congratulations. Well done, well done, well done. Hello, Arthur. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're actually kind of getting close to uh, finishing up time, though. We usually do these for about an hour or so. That's usually the time I can spend without running out of breath, without uh, needing to go to the toilet or have a cigarette. <laughs> um, so any other questions, let's uh, get them out now. Uh, we'll finish these up. Um, we've done virtually nothing, but at least we've gained a level. <sighs> I wonder if I should just live stream every day doing this. I wonder if that's a better... Oh, that could be quite fun. One hour building castle every day. Just This is what we're doing. We're logging in, we're doing this, we're logging in, we're doing this. this is, and that's the only time I log in in the game, is one hour a day during the live stream. That's interesting. That's interesting, that's interesting. That could be quite fun. But it, I couldn't do it, I'd have to do it at one hour later than I usually do it. 8 a.m. in the morning is too early for me. Even though I'm a morning person, I usually wake up at like 5.30 a.m., 6. I, it, I find it quite hard to be talking at 8 a.m. <laughs> I usually wouldn't be talking to anybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe we just do one hour. We do like two weeks, one hour a day, logging in, doing these castles, and seeing how far we can get. With only one hour a day, though, so I wouldn't play it at any other time. Oh, but I have to play it at any other time to record other videos. Hmm. I'll have a think about that. I'll see how it goes. So could I give you some advice for the first duel tomorrow? Listen, if you are not the R5 or the R4... Uh, listen to your battle commanders. That is the biggest problem you always have in your first duels is that everybody runs around like bloody headless chickens. And, uh, you know, people are attacking this way, they're defending this way. People are asking in chat, what's going on? Where do I teleport to? Feed yourself the information. Make sure you all beforehand have at least some semblance of a plan. So somebody should be in charge and should be calling the attack and maybe the defense, depending on... You know, how big you are, how strong you are, how organized you are, etc. Usually you can have a, an attack commander and a battle and a defend commander. But listen to them. If it's you that's going to be those people, then be very direct with every single... Give very clear directions. You, you know, John, one, two, three, move here, do this. Uh, and then when you're building the line towards their alliance center, the attack line, make sure you give coordinates. If you're doing a defensive line, make sure you give people every bit of information you possibly can. You've got to remember, I love everybody to death, but people are morons, yeah? <laughs> we are all idiots. Uh, and especially if something's brand new and you haven't done it before, people are going to be very confused. The best thing to do is to have a clear commander and a clear voice in your chat saying, do this, do this, you go here, you go here, you go here. Now, finding that person is hard, but most likely you're going to find that somebody in your alliance is pretty good at it. Is good at has that kind of head to go. Okay, this, 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 and to look ahead and plan ahead. Um, Dan, what cheese would you recommend for the cheese board tomorrow? Cracker combos are also important. You know what? Cracker combos. I'm often going to say that I'll often go a pumpernickel kind of crisp bread, or just a plain what is, what is called a water cracker. You know, so it's virtually no flavour to it at all. It just provides the structure. Um, in terms of cheese for tomorrow, I think it's going to be sunny. What am I eating tomorrow? I'm eating dumplings. Hmm. If I, would I have cheese after dumplings? I don't think I would. I think possibly what sort of cheese? Uh, it could be a, like a Taleggio. Italian cheese, nice. Uh, I'd say it's semi-hard. Uh, good rich flavour. Uh, good on crackers. Good on pumpernickel. Uh, good with wine. And Taleggio goes well with pear. 
the classic salad, which I think is Taleggio pear walnut, uh, similar to the blue cheese uh, kind of salad. But yeah, I think it's Taleggio pear and walnut. That's not bad cheese to go for, I think. And I, yeah, I'd go for some sort of you want like a pumpkinical crisp bread or something like that, um, which I think is very nice. Uh, or a type of very plain biscuit or cracker that's got nothing to it, in my view. Uh, Steve, you need a shave and a haircut. I always need a shave and a haircut, mate. You've been telling me that for the six years we've been hanging out. <laughs> I hope you're well, dude. I've got to uh, talk to you later about the uh, the Minecraft seed. I was actually thinking of going on Twitch now and doing Minecraft because I've got some crap to get ready on that. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, sorry. I hate it when four players go for the same time, same title at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It's like, can our unshielded castles be plundered by the enemies that come to our state for rock wars? Uh, they could be attacked. Yes. No cheese after dumplings, damn straight. Yeah, only on Sundays can you be attacked in uh, the duels, because Sundays can be chosen as a kill event day. So it's only actually the first, the three Sundays, because then otherwise... It's free gathering and not kill a bit. So every fourth Sunday, you don't have to use a shield, no? Because it's not kill event. It's just uh, the other events. Because that'd be clash up, clash. That'd be clash of problems, will not we? Um, hey Oscar, how you doing? Uh, yeah, but yeah, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can't be attacked. You can be ported by a dragon, but you can't be attacked. Or raided, um, so don't stress too much about it. And if if your enemy has black dragons, then make sure you have enough black dragon defense. And if you're the R4, oh wow, it's going to be hard. <laughs> Getting excited there, yeah. I see, I see. Uh, right, okay, okay, okay. What was I doing? Um, yeah, like so, like so. Yeah, I think you're going to Twitch now doing Minecraft because I've got a lot of bloody mining to do. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. Depends if I want to be on camera again. As I said, I probably need a shower and a cigarette and a breakfast. I'm only eating noodles for breakfast now, like cup noodles. I'm tasting all the cup noodles in the world. Now I'm going to do a video on uh, like cup noodles, pot noodle, ramen. <laughs> see how it's going to be a weird video, but yeah, I'm trying. I'm testing something. Uh, so I think this morning I'm having like a spicy beef noodles from an interesting Thai brand. I'm trying to find the best brand of ramen noodle, instant noodle things. <laughs> um, righty ho, feels like we're kind of finishing up there, which is good. As I said, we've done kind of our hour. Oh wait, there we go, another question. We have our truce timer set from zero to 800. We are planning to pick the war for 860. Will we be safe from 16 to 24? Yes, you will be in, um, not truce, but you will be in war. Declaration protection. So you've already declared war, so you're in protection. Uh, and that was the last question. No problem. But yes, you will be safe. And you have to be ready. 759, yeah, 0759. You have to be ready to press that button. Make sure you've got a target and be ready to press that button. It is incredibly important. If you're not sitting there on the button, and all your R4 and R5 should be there as well, trying to press that button because Literally, there are auto clickers that will press that button in zero in a microsecond. So you really hard, <laughs> really really hard. Um, you got to get lucky on the button pressing, and you got to have a target. Don't just go into it going, "We'll see what happens." Research who you're going to do. Uh, I think I've got videos called Tactics, uh, Reign of Chaos Tactics. It should be in the Reign of Chaos playlist that say and research, find out your enemies, find where they are, pick them as a target. Don't just let it happen. Oh, we'll see who gets us, or we'll just randomly click somebody. Then you're going to be screwed. Got to have a plan. Got to have structure. Got to have strategy. Uh, hello, Steve Moss. You said evening just as we're kind of finishing up. Um, unless people have got other questions, we, we can go for a few more minutes if there's more questions rolling in. But otherwise, I think we'll kind of slow it all down. I think it's also after about an hour, these things hurt my ears. I've got to get my, I've got to get some cool headphones, I guess. No, I'm not going to spend money on cool headphones. I've never seen the point of cool headphones. Uh, it's because I don't listen to music anymore. Virtually zero music. Very weird. I don't know why. 
Yeah, but I accidentally switched to a raider at level 19. Right now, I'm having a hard time getting those resources. Even as even castle tax recap resources don't come as fast as when I was farm, but yeah, I don't think they do. I think raiding is hard, especially in developed states. You're going to have so many naps and rules and stuff like that. I think raiding becomes virtually impossible unless you're running 50 farms. Uh, this is why I always suggest staying farmer until at least C19, if not C22. Uh, so FXU music, you're going to have to wait. I think it's C22. Uh, Oscar, new microphone soon? <sighs> yeah, if I have money. <laughs> I literally have no money, man. Uh, you know, any kind of spare money I have, I'm trying to put towards putting... Uh, into the food for this for the other channel um but yeah i mean i don't have a job yet so yeah i'd love a new microphone i'd love a new laptop no i'd love a new actual computer uh i would love a stand a microscope a stand for my gopro i'd love a new pair of shoes i'd love lots of things but yeah eventually we will get a new microphone i think the bet the next thing i'm going to do is actually replace the cord i think there's something wrong with the cord and that could fix it we'll see we'll see <laughs> Uh, Steve Moss, great bit on gold. Just watching it, hence a bit late. Surprised you didn't pull your hair out making that bit. Yeah, that took ages. <laughs> and I actually tested stuff like for an hour before then, but then I thought I'd better do it on camera. And I was getting very confused because some of the stuff I tested beforehand was a little bit different. I think I wasn't as accurate with the timings on my previous tests. So the tests I did off camera, because uh, on the camera, some of them surprised me a little bit more than I thought. Uh, but it, yeah, it's very... Um, it's a good video. It's very odd to work out what exactly is happening with gold production because none of the, the, the numbers come up right. <laughs> you know, none of the, nothing seems to add up to what it should add up to, regardless of whether you're connected or not connected, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, thank you for so much. You've been my guide throughout my journey. No, no worries at all. Oh. What shampoos do you use? Uh, I don't. I don't shampoo my hair or condition my hair. I... I uh, I'm a bit of a hippie. I don't put anything on my head. <laughs> this is going to sound weird. I don't think I've washed my hair in, uh, say, in 20 years, I've washed my hair three, no, maybe maybe 10 times. And that's usually when I go to get a haircut or, you know, something like that. I've, I've fallen over in, a, in some mud, so I need to wash my hair, wash the mud out. Otherwise, I just I, I scrub my hair with hot water and a, a brush every morning. Uh, in the shower like this so it kind of rubs out the scalp you know uh, and the hair um, there's that kind of uh, that kind of thing hey bro noobs how you doing mate <laughs> you were talking your headset I thought microphone was before that yeah cheese first always cheese um, so yeah I'm a bit of a hippie I don't wash my hair I believe it. you know you've got to be careful with your hair and my hair is very uh, what am I going to say it's very luxurious and very fantastic <laughs> it is you, I go to the hairdressers and they're like wow this is lovely hair, and then it's stick, and it's, you know, and they're like, oh, you know, you could make wigs, and I'm like, yes, I know, it's very good, because I don't wash it, and then they're usually like, ooh, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's healthier for your hair, um, but that's just a personal thing, and I can't even remember why I started doing that 20 years ago, but it's just what I do. Um, did I see your message on Twitter? I didn't, uh, Daryl, I apologize for that. I changed phones a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been that active on Twitter, but I, I got a new phone moving to Australia. I, I wasn't able to find my old Twitter details, and they're not on my old phone anymore for some reason. So I've kind of lost that account. I think I have a way of getting it back, but I haven't been into Twitter yet. Um, feel free to either comment uh, on one of my videos. Uh, find me on Discord. I think it's uh, Mr. Gill 5810 I think that's my Discord. Uh Instagram or something, but yeah, the Twitter's a little bit screwed up at the moment. I just can't seem to log in. Twitter always is asking me for like two-step, three-step verification. I'm like, it wants too much information about me. I don't like it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's very. Yeah, but he doesn't shower. Yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> I don't shower. I shower every day, sometimes twice a day. I like very hot showers. Um, but yeah, I haven't showered yet. I feel all like brick. I feel all like yeah, I just got out of bed, which I did. Um, my hair is lit. It is. I love it. It's got to be cut soon, though. It's uh, it's getting a little bit too long. Um, and it doesn't. I can tell it's long when my hat start to get tighter, and then I'm like, right, okay, I'm gonna do something about this because I said very thick hair. Uh, does the toilet water really swell the other way now that you're in Australia versus Switzerland versus Sweden? Ah, uh, I think it does, doesn't it? I don't even know this. I don't think I've ever checked that. I know that's a thing, isn't it? That it's meant to happen, that everything drains the other way because it's 
the opposite side of the world or something. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think my shoes got tighter, so I'm assuming that there's like, because we're upside down now, all the blood has rushed to my feet as opposed to my head. I don't know how that worked, but yeah, my shoes feel tighter in the last two weeks, which is very odd. <laughs> two more questions. No problem. No, 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 go for it. I have time. I just uh, want to go have a cigarette, but you can definitely ask away. That's fine. Please feel free. That's what I'm here for. This is why we do these Q&As, is to ask, answer questions, and I'm more than happy to. Shoot. Uh, while I'm here, though, I should still keep doing stuff. I keep on forgetting. Uh, that's all. That's all the help towns there we go. Do you think we should stay and defend our AC, or should we rush to the other state and start the attack? Rush. Remember, okay, so in the first 30 minutes, you have what's called prep time. Uh, during prep time, attacking any enemy's tiles uh, will cost you double the stamina and not get you any points. So that's the first 30 minutes. What you should be able to do is, is rush to the other state, build a rally point, and start to pick a way and build a road around their tile. So you're just taking empty squares. You should be able to find a way through, hopefully, uh, with empty squares. So I would do that immediately. Pretty much... 99.99% of the time, you're only going to win by being aggressively attacking, attacking aggressively. Uh, you should have a couple of people who stay behind in defense and watch. So basically, they have to scan. And by scan, I mean they are literally scrolling around the alliance centers, uh, probably in the, the zoom out a little bit, like this, scrolling around the alliance centers, looking for enemies, looking for rally points, etc uh, etc et they're just scrolling checking 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 so you need a couple of people in defense who are ready to call everybody back if somebody is aggressively attacking you but uh, attack is easily offense is easily the best thing to do at the start uh, do you think uh, okay just need a little help getting fundraising out of the big discords for gentlemen that lost a child while his wife was giving birth that's uh, awful um, Yeah, I mean, uh, right. Uh, I, look, I don't run any of the discords. I, I obviously that's an awful thing, Daryl. But I don't. I'm not an admin on any of the discords. I don't. I, I don't really want to be posting. You know, I, I try to keep away from anything on that. Um, you can see in the in this video, I believe there's a link. Let's see if the link is there. Uh, like here. Let me just double check. There should be a link here that says. Bah, bah, bah. New developer managed Discord. So that is the main and that is easily the biggest Discord in there. It should also be somebody on the channel currently right now called Discord42 who runs another one of the sites. I think he's still online. Uh, and he's the, he's the admin of one of the other Discord groups. And for sure, uh, those two. So ch check that link and go there. And, um, and then in the Discord... The main Rise of Empires one, I think you asked for Evil. Uh, he's one of the GMs, one of the managers of that. He should definitely be able to help you putting out a big message for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, I, I could post something. You know, if I post something, people will ask me questions about it, and I'm not going to say I know much about it, and I can't guarantee that I can stand there and answer people's questions. Yeah, so I just I try to leave any sort of admin running the discords to the people who own them, <laughs> effectively. Um, but yeah. Discord 42, if you're still online, talk to this guy, Daryl. He needs a bit of help. Um, Louis Pietri, thank you for all your work. Thank you. It's okay. You're a genuine guy. Cheers. I am. I try to be genuine. I let you guys see me, warts and all. Uh, Steve there has probably seen more of my warts. <laughs> I miss having a beer, mate. It's a... Uh, yeah. I miss Strongbow. I haven't had Strongbow in ages. Anyway. Um... Yeah, but they don't even have YouTube rank. Who's YouTube? I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, I don't know. Uh, does influence value mean anything? Yes. I have all level 8 tiles captured and I have high influence value. Should I ban all of it and capture the low influence tiles? No, influence gives you gold. Uh, keep, keep your influence high. Uh, influence gives you gold and... Um, what else does influence do? Uh... It increases the amount of honor points you get, doesn't it, if you are attacking something? Yeah, keep influence high for as long as you can. Yeah. For sure. Uh... 
Right, how to maximize seasonal contribution alliance season score. Stones, uh, attacking structures, uh, having the final hit on the alliance center. Doesn't that give you like 10,000 points? I think it does. Um, once you've done the first duel, you're going to be able to go into the alliance uh, seasonal intel and you'll be able to see the breakdown of where you earned your points that kind of week. And once you've seen the first duel, you go, ah, so I earned the points from attacking those buildings, you know, being the one who destroyed it or not being the one. Uh, I'm going to suggest they give you admin now. Hey, no, I don't want to admin. <laughs> no, I definitely don't want admin. Uh, I, yeah, I'll eventually have my own little Discord. But that'll be more of a Mr. Gill's Universe Discord than a, you know, it will be about a little bit of a Rise of Empires, but it'll be more about hanging out, having fun. Uh, but I definitely don't want to be the admin of somebody else's Discord. As I said, you know, at the start of this, I was talking with one of the Discord devs about, uh, the Rise of Empires devs about doing some videos for them that they could promote. Um, but, I mean, they just wanted too many, um, there were too many rules about how they wanted it done. And I was like, I don't really know if I want to do that. Uh, I don't like rules. I don't like following, especially somebody else's rules. I have my rules, but I don't like following somebody else's rules. <laughs> um, Michael Keenan does Reign of Chaos gradually get more difficult? Yes. Basically, the uh, the tiles you're attacking are defended by higher level uh, NPCs, um, so and that increases every um, every season. Um, so that that's harder. Also, everybody you're playing against is more experienced. So that makes it harder as well. So yeah, you know, after season one, if you if you you know if you kind of if your alliance is ranking like you know one hundred and you're all a bit confused about it, you're in trouble. And I would suggest you need a strong merger um, ASAP because yeah uh, yeah if if you can't rank top forty at the end of Reign of Chaos season one, even even if you're ranking thirty to forty, I think you're in a little bit of trouble. Um, because it does get intense, a lot harder, a lot, it's a lot more quicker. And the top alliances will start to merge and make deals and you're just going to get thrown further down. So you have to kind of make a really hard judgment call at the end of season one about how effective you're playing as an alliance and whether or not you have to join somebody else. Um, and yeah, the tile guard, so the NPC characters protecting, you know, these guys, effectively these guys in the tiles get stronger. So you're going to need stronger and stronger troops. By season two, I'd say it's very hard to do it without without T8s, even enhanced T8s. Um, uh, and obviously, if you can have season uh, have T9s, then you're great. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All oh, right. Should I ask my teammates to abandon the tiles around ACT and go to OT1 and capture tiles around there for the five, first war? Yes. Definitely. Your defense around your Alliance Center 1 should be at least 100 kilometers, yeah, or 100 tiles of no space that is a 2x2 two two hole or a 3x3 three three hole. There should be none of those holes, 2x2 two two or 3x3, three three, within 100 tiles of your Alliance Center 1. That is a bare minimum of defense. If you guys are wasting all of your tiles around AC2 and there's no defense around AC1, you've already lost. Really, yeah, you need to defend AC1 at all costs. Um, because as I said, especially for your first duel, they're not going to be able to get to AC2 unless they're going to build a long road, which is going to take them a long time and you should be able to see it a mile off. Yeah. Michael Keenan, no problem, mate. That's all right. That's all right. Happy to help. Happy to help. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to finish up. If you have more questions... Please feel free, as I said, you can find me on the Discord. I'm just going to have a quick look. One second. Let's just double check what my Discord is so that I give it to you right. Uh, Mr. Gill. Uh, so Mr. Gill, hashtag 5980 is my Discord. So if you, let's put it in here as well. If you have more questions, please feel free. It does usually take me a little bit of time. Uh, to answer, I'm not, you know, there's a lot of questions and I have little bits of other stuff to do, but usually I would say within 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, I have replied usually. Um, and sometimes it will be, uh, check this video out. And sometimes it would be, uh, 
you know, oh, I have a more detailed answer to that. But yeah, you're more than happy to uh, send me a message on Discord. Um, other than that, I hope everybody's fantastic. Please click the like if you can. It massively helps uh, the channel uh, have more traction in terms of the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, consider checking out uh, my second channel, Jimmy Two Lunch. There should be a link in some description somewhere, <laughs> uh, which is about me and food and visiting Melbourne and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please find me. Otherwise, I wish you all a good day. Uh, make sure you eat some cheese today. I'm going to have a pot noodle now. Uh, not a pot noodle brand pot noodle, but I'm going to have a, a ramen noodle for breakfast. And then I think I'm going to play a load of Minecraft. Yeah, feels like mine. Oh, Age of Empires. Oh, I've still got to load Age of Empires 2 on my laptop. I'm worried about doing it because it might screw up my laptop. I'll see. I think I'll play some Minecraft for a few hours and then um, maybe make a video about migration. State migration in Rise of Empires. Anyway, I'm baffling. I'm wa baffling. I'm rum rambling on see you all soon uh have a good one N same time next week for the stream um so yeah you know where i'm at uh